This Hezbollah Tahrir video warns of an Australian government conspiracy targeting young Muslims. The group alleges the aim is to weaken Islamic faith in the Australian community. Hello? Hello, Zach. Who is this? Mate, this is Greg Martins. I'm from the Australian Security and Intelligence Organisation. Uh, you might know us as ASIO, and I've got a very important matter to discuss with you. They released a report today painting a picture of government interference in a community tired of having its faith demonised and its culture marginalised. The Muslim community is dealt with not as citizens, but as a consideration of national security. Hezbut Tahrir claims the government-funded leadership programs are an ASIO front for diluting Islam and creating a new leadership generation that will bend to the government's will. The fundamental objective of these policies is to change Islam to secularise Islam, to produce a so-called moderate Islam, a state-sanctioned version of Islam that is secular, politically impotent and localised. Mate, this kid isn't the moderate type. He's definitely one of those radicals. The report warns Australian Muslims to reject being branded moderate or extremist and to refuse government money for community projects. So what does the community think? Us as the Lebanese community should respect the Australian law and they should just respect our religion, that's all. Yeah, you have to spend money for us, for Muslim people, Christian. Probably 90%, 90-90%, all Muslim here will love Australia with the government. Probably a couple once, you know? Last year, Tony Abbott described the group as preachers of hate. There were reports the coalition would ban Hezbollah Tahrir if elected, a move that some warn could drive them underground. <sighs> Banning them would mean that uh, you won't be able to see it and you won't be able to talk about it and you won't be able to uh, provide uh, constructive uh, feedback. Hezbut Tahrir are hosting a national conference in Sydney on Sunday. A spokesman for the Prime Minister declined to comment on whether a ban is being considered. Gary Cox, World News Australia.